Hi everyone, Modeler Mark here with a new way to fly any phone drone with your existing FPV goggles without a tablet, without a tablet holder and without cables. Hope you enjoy. Hey, quick introduction. Um, earlier in the year my Mavic 1 Pro had both batteries fail on me. At the time I didn't want to buy another another battery for it so I started looking around at other drones. I found the Femi XE 2020 on pre-order. That looked a good drone and I was reading the thread which is now two threads on RC groups and while reading that I found somebody had used um, the drone but with their existing FPV goggles using an HDMI to AV converter. Now to do that I had to have a tablet and a tablet holder in the phone and then cables going from the tablet to the, the goggles. I start to think, is there a, another way of doing that without the cost and without that, that mess? So I love that idea, but it did mean using a, a tablet with HDMI out and a tablet holder and then directly cabling that tablet to your FPV goggles. So that all sounded uh, a bit messy and quite expensive. So I was looking for a better way to do that. So what I did have was a USB powered cast dongle and I wondered if there's a way to cast my phone directly to my FPV goggles using that. I tested it with the TV and, and that worked so I could cast from my phone straight to the TV. So then I got myself an HDMI to AV connector which then allowed me to connect the cast dongle um, into an AV input for my goggles and that also worked. So this video is to show you what I've done, how it all goes together, where you can get all the parts and how you can do it for yourself. So I hope you enjoy. The beauty of this is it's far cheaper than a tablet and far neater. So here we go. Okay, here's the view of the entire unit. It's pretty small. USB power pack on the back. Any cast dongle at the base. HDMI to AV, Wi-Fi receiver for the dongle and your AV cables out to your headset. It's on a belt clip so that tucks on your belt and you've got one cable going to your headset and you're all good to go. Okay so here's everything you need. First thing is uh, your belt clip, holder for everything. This is 3D printed, um, this is posted on Thingiverse for you and it is specific to the items I've used. Mainly the, the battery, the cast and the HDMI adapter are fairly universal. So you've got that holder print, you've got a battery pack. What you want is one with two USB ports in the bottom um, so that you can power both the Anycast dongle and the HDMI adapter. You've got the Anycast dongle, fairly universal, this one from Gearbest. They're available everywhere else. Tiny button on the bottom that changes from Apple mode to uh, Android Windows mode and that has its Wi-Fi dongle that connects into it. That's USB powered. HDMI to AV adapter that converts from the HDMI on the Anycast through the base into your AV output. Your AV cables and they go into your FB goggles. Uh, in the AV input socket and then obviously any any drone that uses a phone to display and a phone that's able to cast which is pretty much every Android and iPhone so let me show you how it's all put together okay so let's put this together first take your clip very simple slide the battery in with the holes at the bottom Slide that through and into the base. So that's your battery nice and neat in there. Next we want the Anycast dongle. That fits in the, in the bottom mount. And then connect the USB cable for it through the top. It feeds all the way through, leaving the Wi-Fi adapter to sit neatly in the top part and the USB connector goes through and there you have your Wi-Fi module 
sits neatly in the top and then we can plug our USB into the base of the Anycast dongle in the bottom so that holds that next part is to take your HDMI to AV adapter slide that through the square part of the print slide it high enough up so that the Anycast dongle will fit into the hole in the base and then pop it back down make sure it's nice and snug and then we have all the main components you've obviously got some some cable left here so that's the purpose for these clips on the side and we can tidy the cables up so I'll do that now okay so that's all the cables tucked in, fitted in there and all that leaves is for you to plug them in the bottom as soon as they're plugged in everything will power up and you're good to go it's now finished running you can pop your AV cables in the top and then plug it straight into your headset as soon as it's plugged in the USB it is now working and once you're plugged in your headset you can now see that on your goggles okay let's see it in use i've set it up on the tv um, rather than in the goggles so you can actually see what's happening and get an idea for the response times so here we go okay so you see it starts up in airplay mode and you've got that one we use is the Mirocast mode uh, for android and windows obviously if you on an apple you can use that it defaults to that when you turn it on on the bottom of the dongle the little button press that and it changes immediately to Mirocast that will now work on your Android and Windows okay you've got the Mavic connected just pull this down from the top onto cast In settings, you'll see the Anycast device showing there. As soon as it picks that up, we connect to it. That's now connected and it's immediately showing up on the headset. And go back to uh, Mavic, and you'll see that that is now mirrored on the TV and that's where it will be on your headset so you see a Mavic screen you can access the Mavic settings you see it on the screen I'll give you an idea I'll bring the controller in and as we do things you'll see Sort response that you're getting off this. So not bad. So there it is. Pretty easy to set up. Decent, decent response rate. Guess it's not for people who are racing drones, but for any phone drone. For doing photo for doing video allows you fpv i think it's pretty good beauty really is it's very neat it's got few cables no cables connecting your controller to your headset and of course any any phone drone can can use this system so if you've got a, a mavic mini a hubson anything they'll all they'll all work as so long as your phone will cast which all the modern iphone and android devices do then you're good to go. If those of you are interested, this is my Mavic with its original battery components. So it's got the original cells, switch, lights, controller board, but now it's in a new shell. And you'll see it's got a balance lead. Now works perfectly, so although it wouldn't allow me to use this and it was basically scrap. Since then it's now been fine and you'll see that it's perfectly 
perfectly balanced now. Absolutely no issues with this battery. It's had several flights since I did it, and I'll uh, I'll I'll do a video on that on, in the future, which may help people. These things cost a fortune, so when it tells you to throw your battery away, it's nice if you can actually uh, bring it back to life, and it's been absolutely perfect since I did it. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, links to everything are in the description. Please like and subscribe as well and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.